All right, hello everyone. So today we're going to be rebuilding the fire station that I talked about in the last video. And we're going to be moving it from this big uh, 48 by 48 base plate, I believe, uh, to this 32 by 32. So much smaller. And obviously you can see the difference. Yeah, the base plate's dirty, I don't care. But you can see the difference in size there. Um, and I'd really like to change that because we got to fit it in that spot right there and uh, yeah I've been working a little bit I've been trying to re-put the vehicles nicely around the roads kind of do some curb outlines here I don't have many tiles to do it all right now but I'm doing bits and pieces right now as I got it we're gonna keep the red strip in front of there for no parking in front of the fire station there but anyway and I wanted to two garage doors because I do, uh, when I when I built this, I just had this fire vehicle, and now I got, I just recently got this one. So, oh, well, that's, I'll fix that in a second, but, and then I built this one, but this one needs uh, some, because I, I had this set a long time ago, and I just finally, like, pieced it back together a while back, but I still need to change out some of the parts, like, that's not the right door, and it's really scratched. So, we'll get that situated. Um, but for now, yeah, I just kind of want to downsize this. It's too big. I want to add a roof to it and everything. Uh, I do want to keep this area right here. Because uh, that looks pretty nice. Well, not pretty nice, but I, I like the design. I want to I want to continue that into, into this one. So, go ahead and get started. It's going to be separated out into parts, these videos, probably, for this fire station. Because... I work, you know, uh, in separate parts here, you know, I come back and do things to it, so won't be able to knock it out all in one video, but you'll guys, you'll have something to look forward to, I guess, seeing me. So we're just going to get started with taking off all of this, and we're going to leave the sign for now, but all the major pieces I want to take into the new build all right so this is just gonna have to be the view for now i don't have a lot of uh table space at the moment but we'll get that set up for actual building table uh i got a table over there uh that'll work out perfect okay we're gonna start with uh disassembling uh some of this here and i'll go ahead and do that and i'll come back uh after I at least take off all these tiles, I want to collect all these tiles here. Put the tile bin here. So we can just keep that at least organized so we can get down to just the bricks and start uh, repurposing most of the bricks. And if not, we have more red. But like I said, I wanted to downsize this, so I'm definitely going to be making it smaller instead of going bigger this time. Because I went a little ambitious on this uh, when I did do it the first time. And I ran out of a lot of red bricks to begin with for this. So most of this wall back here is all one by twos. Because <laughs> that's all I had left by that point. All right, but I'll finish this up. Okay, I've created a mess here, and I know that. Um, but I do want to keep the same kind of design here for the chief's office. I want to keep him like a little, a little nook here. Um, and, okay. Alright, so we're just going to start with uh, some bricks. You know what? We're just going to start with the fresh thing of bricks for now here. Just so I don't have to keep taking these all apart. Okay, so I want to build a symmetrical start here. Because I want to have the roof uh, a perfect easy fit here. Um, I'm going to go ahead and try and steal this uh, doorway. So I don't have to rebuild it really. Uh, it's going to be easier said than done.
And this is what I do with a lot of my buildings when I start uh, to remake them. I just kind of rip apart the old one and start uh, cannibalizing pieces from it mostly. And I do a new design. I mean, mostly I get tired of staring at them. Or lots of these I built years ago. And I just don't like how I built them. Alright, so I want to keep this same front here. For the entryway. Uh, not exactly sure. How did I do this? Here. Oh, okay, I see. Never mind! Never mind! Okay, we are going to kind of have to keep these side pieces here. Just realized I built them up with plates. Okay, I just put a little thought into this, and I think it's going to steer us in a different direction now. So I want to have this then maybe on the side, because if I want to keep this kind of pop, pop out door type thing here, I'm going to have to do the garage kind of on this side. Am I able to fit two garage doors side by side like that in this space? We'll have to see. Let's see. So if we do that and that, and then we continue that same thing here and here. It gives too big of a gap. Okay, yeah. So we can do that, and we can have this little guy then um, park right here. This guy can be parked. Well, he's it's kind of big actually. We have this one parked here. If we do keep the door, I mean, unless we do the door on the side and not even on that way, I don't know. But then it kind of defeats the purpose. Okay, so we got this kind of layout then here. Okay, so that's settled. Okay, so this is my Bennett garage door parts. So I got partially of a door. But I think this one is uh, taller for no reason anyway. So we can probably sum that down. Alright, so I fast forward a little bit. Uh, so I figured this out. I had to kind of... I mean, this is not the exact color I wanted here. But for now, this is how it's going to have to work because I do not have enough red or gray or white just in for this. But red on each side and a different colorway in the middle here. But this will just have to work for now. But uh, until then, whenever we get that solved. And these ones are a little scuffed and a little bit more faded. But there we go. We got the same sizes. Um, and I can actually bring that down one because that's too high. So I need to bring all that down one, but we'll hop back to that. Let's get this front worked on here. So, bad building techniques, Cameron, from the past. But we're going to go ahead and fix this all for you. So, I'm going to bring this then. To here yep yeah and this is uneven so but we're gonna go ahead and build to here then uh, we'll just go straight to the edge so we'll go there yeah okay so I'm gonna do I don't know what kind of windows here let's maybe go with one of these bad boys or two of these here what are we looking like centered do that type thing there maybe one higher or less 
Let me throw one of those guys in the middle there. Yeah, it looks good. That adds some, uh, like, pop to there. You can, can maybe see. Here, let's take you off. All right, so we got this so far right here. And then we got this on the side. So, and sorry, I'm probably going to edit this where I'm going to be cutting around a lot because I honestly don't know what I'm building. I like to just kind of get some bricks on the table and start start working. I don't like to be trying to think of a plan, really, even though that might help with my brain a little bit here. But it's just not going to help me how I am used to building. I like to just kind of get the bricks out and go ham. All right, so here is the front so far. I, I like the look. Looks nice. You got the two big windows to the side there. So you can see the inside of the garage. If you pan around, we got the two garage doors. I have them off right there on the table for now, but we got them open there. So we got both the vehicles laid out. It's kind of a tight squeeze here. We're, we're, we're downgrading our space here, so we don't got much to work with. Uh, but I moved the big one over here, so this is going to be his little parking. That's about where it's going to sit. It's going to come to the door pretty close. Uh, it'll just have to be like an open concept, I guess. Then I have like a little lounge area over here in the corner, maybe. And this is where they're going to store like all their equipment and stuff where I have over there. Back there. And then the, like the little lounge area with this stuff kind of going to be right there. And the office, where I had it before for like the chief. And there we go. Or the captain. I'm not sure. I don't know. Fire terms. But, um,. Yeah, I think that's uh, about it for this one uh, today. But we got a little bit done here. Uh, we got kind of the outline done. And we're going to have the uh, exit for the garage just on the side. Um, we'll finish up uh, tomorrow with the... Uh, rest of the walls and everything and uh, complete the inside so that sounds good all right well I'll catch you guys tomorrow I'll have an upload out as well try and get two out all right and then we'll put it in the city all right I'll catch you guys later see ya